This business can make $50,000 a month and it takes nothing to start it. Let me show you. So I get asked this question constantly. I want to quit my corporate day job and start a business, but I don't know where to start. This business takes nothing to get going and it levels up into different layers of complexity as you start to learn how to run and operate companies. Hi, I'm Cody Schneider. I have 15 plus years of digital marketing experience and the business that you're going to start today is going to start by doing videos on YouTube for Canva, which takes nothing to get started. I'm going to show you all of the keywords that you need to be able to begin this. You're then going to take those videos and that's going to funnel into consulting, doing Canva consulting. And then from there, you're going to level up into running an agency that is for Canva. And then I'm going to show you how you'll probably end up discovering some type of software that you'll need to make for Canva that you can then go and sell to your audience. So to begin, why is this a great way to start a company? It's because it's a super low barrier to entry and it doesn't take a lot of resources, uh, really resource investment to begin. You, anybody can go and make a YouTube video that's showing how to do Canva tutorials. And what this does is it initiates your building of distribution so that you can create inbound leads for your work that you're doing. And this is one of the hardest problems that people have is a lot of the times they have a product, but they don't have a way to get it in front of people. And so this reverses that and it builds an audience audience before you even have a product, which makes it so that from day one, you have an immediate way to build clients for your business. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is find all the how to XYZ Canva keywords. So what do I mean by this? So these keywords are keywords that people are looking for that are trying to find some type of tutorial that is related to doing something on Canva. So what I'm using here is SEMrush or SEMrush. What I'm doing is isolating all of the phrase match keywords related to how to XYZ on Canva. And then I just sorted by a low keyword difficulty. So there's two different strategies or, or ways to think about this when you're uh, choosing the keyword that you're going to go after. So you can either go and look at what has the largest volume, which is a way to do this, or you can look by what has the lowest keyword difficulty. So when you look at what has the lowest keyword difficulty, what you're assuming is that's a less competitive keyword phrase. So it's a higher likelihood that you get that initial traction. So the, what I wanna show you right now is if we take one of these keywords and we go and search on Google, what happens and what's going to show up. So let me go back again to the lower keyword difficulty and we're gonna then take that and then go to Google. So how to create a workbook on Canva, right? We're gonna take this one. I'm gonna go over to a new tab. I'm gonna show you in Google. What is the first thing that comes up at the top of the page for that keyword search? It is all YouTube videos. So why I'm suggesting YouTube as the channel to create these tutorials is because you can make this video with zero barriers to entry for free, and it's gonna show up on Google in this top position. You're gonna be able to rank for that. So the videos are just tutorial styles. You're just gonna, again, look at it. It's eight minutes, it's 13 minutes, it's 30 minutes talking through that process. So you now have a source of the information that you're going to create. You just rip through all of these keywords. I'm going to include this in the description. You're going to get access to all of these. And then all you have to do is just go and make these videos. If you sit down and you make a video a day off of one of these keywords, you are going to get views. You're going to get leads. So why this is really effective to begin with is you're going to create all of this top of funnel inbound. But also you can monetize that channel. So you're going to start making money off of that channel before you even have a client, before you even set it up an agency, before you even build a software. So again, this is a very effective way to build that initial distribution. And all you're doing is just <laughs> checking these off a list, right? You just go through these, you build up this skill set. So by doing each of these as well, you're going to get more effective with the tool. And this can be applied not just to Canva. It can be applied to Google Ads. It can be applied to you know short-form content creation. It can be applied to uh, Figma, any of these different tools that you can think of that people are trying to find tutorials for on the internet. You started making these videos and you started ranking, you're starting to get views. Now, when people come into those videos, what's going to happen is that you're going to add a call to action to contact you within the description of this video. So they're going to come in, they're going to watch this video, they're going to see you do this and they're going to be like, oh my God, I want this, but this takes a lot of time and they're going to just naturally reach out to you and be like, hey, can you do this for me? And so this is how you're going to get your first clients for your consulting. So you're going to create a Canva consulting company. And what this looks like, if I was in your shoes, I would structure it where it's like, it's probably 2000 a month and you do unlimited Canva designs for them. 
when you think about this, if you're trying to get to $10,000 a month, which for a lot of people replaces their salary, if not more than the salary they have currently, that means that you only need to get five clients, right? And when you think about, okay, I'm doing a video a day for whatever, we'll say six months, the likelihood that you're going to get inbound leads from that process is super high, right? You can just go and use this uh, free software like Tally. So to collect this data and information, you don't have to pay anybody or do anything. All you need is to add a form or some way to contact you via email. So Tally Forms is a great free tool. You can add that link within the description. And again, this is going to create that inbound lead volume for you. So now let's take a step back real quick and talk about what we've just done. We've now identified a way for us to create distribution with the super low barriers to entry that then will allow us to sell clients and get that initial revenue. So the two revenue opportunities that are happening here is you're making money off of the YouTube channel itself. You're also making money off of the affiliate that you're selling through that YouTube channel. So the three things that are happening here from a monetary standpoint at this point within the journey is you're making money off of the YouTube channel itself. So YouTube paying you for that. And that's a highly valuable thing when you're going after these tutorial style videos. Companies want to sponsor this. You can also make money off of doing affiliate through that YouTube channel. So how affiliate functions is companies want to sponsor your videos so that you promote their products within the videos. So this is another way for you to make revenues off of that, just that channel, not even servicing clients. So now you've made this channel, it's made this distribution, and then you can start going into, okay, now we're gonna get these clients and we're gonna start charging them you know, two grand a month, which allows for us to get to that 10K price point. And at this point in the journey, you're probably making decent money. I've seen people do this where they're making at least 20 to 30 grand a month with just doing these two things. They're not even gonna level up into the next part of this that I'm about to talk about. Okay, so you've got your first clients. It's going really well, but how you actually make wealth is when you get other people to make money for you. So you expand your time, you multiply your time. And this is where you level up from consulting into an agency. You've got this deep skill set that you understand. You know how to sell clients. You know how to get them in the door. Now what you're going to do is start to use other people's talent and you're basically going to sell that to your clients. So how to structure this and how to think about this, you're going to need to go and hire people that have skill sets within whatever it is that you're doing. So again, with those canvas skill sets to hire global talent, you'll go and look for a company like Talent Fiber. This is a great source of global talent. They're one of my favorite. And what they do is they have an office in Manila that is looking for the best talent for you. They're basically headhunters for global talent. The difference between this and just going and trying to hire somebody is that they vet them for you. How you get good talent globally is when you offer the benefits that they're looking for. So this company offers the equivalent of a 401k, of health insurance, et cetera. And so it's a magnet for the best talent. So when you work with them, you can basically identify the best people as easy as possible. So then you get those individuals and what you're doing is you're paying their salary and then you have them work on multiple clients just like you were when you had your five doing the consulting. But this allows you to scale up. So let's do that math real quick. Say I have 100 different clients that we're working with. We're charging them 2K a month. So let's do that math real quick. Say I have 100 different clients that I'm working with and I'm charging them $2,000 a month to work with us. So that turns into $200,000 a month. For those 100 clients, I'm going to need, if they say can manage four to five people a piece, for those 100 clients and they can manage five people, I'm gonna need 20 different people on my team. And then I'll probably need some people to interact as managers of those accounts as well. So let's just call it an even 25. If I have 25 people and I'm paying their salaries, of, we'll say $2,000 a month, just to make it round and even, that's $50,000 in salaries that I'm paying. But I'm making $200,000 a month. So I'm running this business then at a 75% margin, which is an unbelievable company. And this is actually how people level up into these. It's they make these productized services is what they're called based off of the consulting that they were doing. They find that thing that people are looking for most. And then they double down on that and they make a package that they can sell to a specific audience, which again would be people that are trying to use Canva within their businesses or build these templates out, whatever that ends up being. All right, so you're now running a huge company. You're making a lot of money. That's awesome. But client work is extremely hard because you're constantly having to manage people's emotions. So what you're going to try to do next and what you should do next is build some type of company that makes you money without having to interact constantly with the client. And the best way to do that is to create software. So software is this thing that 
you can build once and it scales infinitely. And I'm going to walk through that whole process. So today, what we're going to talk about is, again, related to Canva, because that's the example that we're using for this video. But say you're using Canva and you have clients that are giving you videos that they're trying to add captions to. So Canva doesn't have a good caption software built into the application. So this is an opportunity. And when we go and actually look at the data, searches for Canva subtitles is absolutely skyrocketing. And when we look at the actual apps that are on the Canva app library for the keyword subtitles, there's not even eight of them. There's not even two rows. So you've now identified an opportunity. Now you need to go and figure out how do I actually make this piece of software? The best way I've seen to make software is to use an offshore dev team to create the first version of it. And the reason for that is that hiring an engineer that is really good at doing zero to one. So basically building a so piece of software, you know, nuts to bolts entirely on its first go is very hard to find that individual. It's more likely that you'll find an engineer that's great at making maintaining or improving that software piece by piece, day over day. So you'll go and find a company that will do zero to one builds. A company I really like is called htmlburger.com. Tell them I sent you. You're going to work with them to build this first version of the software. They're going to give you a quote before you even do it. You're going to use the money that you're making at your agency to cash flow into the building of the software. And then you're going to go back to your YouTube channel and you're going to use that as a way to promote the software. And again, because you already have that distribution, it's an immediate way to get those signups, to get that audience to buy this product. And you probably have a massive email newsletter that you've built up over time as well within from that YouTube channel. So you make the software, it's finally complete, it's up, you have customers. And to maintain it and improve it, that's when again, you would go back to a company like Talent Fiber, you would hire an engineer, and they will work on improvements of that software. And the reason that you pair these two together is that it's expensive to use a dev shop to have them improve it. They also just can't move at a pace that you need them to. It's very project-based work. And in contrast, you want somebody that's on this on a daily basis to you know, improve the bugs, to improve the software as you get feedback from your customers. Okay, and that's it. You've now just gone from, I have a YouTube channel and we make money off of the YouTube channel and off of affiliate and off of selling ads on my newsletter to... I do consulting and I make money off of doing work for my clients to I have an agency and I make money off of my team servicing clients to now I have software that I own and I make money while I sleep. And this process is repeatable. You can do this over and over again. And you can do this in so many different industries. And this is the new way to build wealth if you don't know where to start. You can do this outside of your day job. You don't have to quit to start this. You just have to sit down and start recording videos on a daily basis to begin. I'm Cody Schneider. Sub to this channel if you want more like this. Also subscribe to my newsletter and follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn below.